Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wolf Quest 2.7 demo. We are back here with Eclipse, our handsome wolf, who is currently searching for a mate on Amethyst Mountain. And thank you guys so much for your advice. So apparently now we have to follow the scent trails where the wind blows. So the wind is going to move the scents of different creatures. Ooh, what's this? What's this scent? Are you not going to tell me? I think this is the scent of like where we were just a minute ago. So the scent trails are going to move with the wind. Oh my gosh, look, it's a bear. It's a bear, you guys, eating that carcass. And what we need to focus on doing is trying to get, let's see. No, it's going to be pack stats, I bet. It's trying to get enough experience points, 750 experience points in total, so that we are able to go and find a mate. So once we get to 750 experience points, we'll be able to find a mate. For now, mm, I don't know if we want to fight that grizzly bear. That sounds like a bad idea. So we're not going to fight the grizzly bear. We're going to run around it. It's going to be able to eat that carcass if it wants to. And we might see... So I see the compass. And I wonder if that means the wind is blowing this way. I don't see anything. I don't see any sense down here. Are we going near every, anywhere? I think we're kind of following the wind over here. And it keeps you much lower, like you stay kind of on the wolf's level, wolf eye view really. But let's see, maybe we can run around. Yeah, we're outside of Amethyst Mountain right now. So let's try running over to, through Douglas Fir Forest, to a hunting ground. And let's get a little bit of hunting out of the way so that our handsome Eclipse here is going to be able to hopefully earn enough experience that he can impress a lovely mate. And you guys are coming up with so many amazing names for potential mates that Eclipse could have too. That is just so awesome. I really love, ooh, what's this? About the compass. So I think the compass is trying to, is it pointing us kind of like this way? Or is it pointing us the other way? Where are you pointing us, compass? I think we saw it for just a second, like hovering above us. Well, I want to go to the hunting ground. Oh, it's a coyote again. Get him. Get him, Eclipse. So tough. Like, that's so, it seems so mean, but the thing is, that actually did make it. And we'll rest for just a second. So I think the compass is trying to guide us. See the little, like, yellow dots that are sort of flying around? We'll try following those. And it's too bad we can't eat the coyotes that we, we kill. Coyotes are actually considered mid-level predators. Ooh, okay, so I think it's trying to guide us over here. Are we supposed to go back to the hunting ground? Let's try that out. But coyotes are mid-level predators, whereas the wolf is considered like an apex predator, top-level predator. And the coyotes actually help to keep other predator species in check. All right, so we are now here at the elk hunting grounds. We want to watch the wind direction. You do better if you approach the herd from downwind. So we're going to attack the elk and use the space bar to bite. We're going to press and hold the space bar to bite and hold on to do maximum damage. So this is going to be kind of interesting, you guys. I think I see a dead elk on the other side. What on earth was that sound? Eclipse, what are you doing? All right, maybe it was just the music, but I thought I really heard something. So I see a dead elk far in the distance. I'm trying to run. Let's run over because I think we're currently upwind. Oh, here we go. What's this? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Is there something here? Elk five minutes ago. Oh my goodness, are we actually finding something? Six minutes ago. I think we're going further away. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a little hare. Can we eat it? Did I kill this? I don't remember. Oh, look at all the leaves. So those those yellow things I kept seeing are actually leaves. All right, so we fed on the, the hare carcass a little bit. And here we go. So let's follow this elk. Here we go. So elk four minutes ago walked by. Ooh, four minutes ago, yes. Okay, we're getting closer. Oh! <gasps> No way! You guys, look at the elk herd! Oh my gosh! This is more like it! Okay, I, that's a cow elk. I think that's the one we're going to try going for, perhaps. There's a dead elk just past them. But we want to try hunting, so let's do this. Oh no, she's she's healthy. She's healthy and she's going to fight back. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll try resting a little bit. All right, I think we got a few bites on her. All right, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh my gosh, we're actually doing this. We're actually seriously hunting this time. Dang it, we're out of stamina. Come back, elk. All right, so we're gonna keep an eye on her. We're really hunting this time. This isn't just like running around till we find carcasses like it used to be. All right, let's try this. Okay, we can bite. Oh, oh my gosh, we're holding on! We were holding on to her, no way! All right, I think we're getting there. We're getting somewhere on her. And this is actually kind of how it will often go when you are hunting with apex predators. In real life too, it's a very patient waiting game. Sometimes you will stalk your prey for quite a long time before you actually get to the point. I can't believe we're doing this. Come on. Oh my gosh, look at that. We're like holding on to do maximum damage when she was trying to kick us. But it definitely wears us out to do that. So it's kind of, it gets to the point where it's like a standoff. Who's gonna have the most endurance? Look at her. Look at her, okay. Man, we're getting low on help. But we're doing this. All right, come on. Oh, she's really gonna try to fight us. That's because she's getting pretty low on health, so she it's like her only option. If we had a bigger pack, this wouldn't be quite as dangerous. But as it is, I don't feel like I have a ton of options. Oh, come on, female elk. I should have gone for somebody who was sicker and weaker. That was my mistake. I went for somebody who's pretty strong. All right, well, is that is that little rabbit nearby? Come on, you. I don't want to die. Oh, look at the elk herd. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, you guys. No, hey, don't kick me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, we just barely won. We did it, you guys. We made our very first kill. I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we made that successful hunt. Eclipse, it was your first kill, your first hunt. It definitely could have been better. Oh my gosh, and it's so much easier to eat. It's not the painful, like, takes forever to get lined up that it used to be. Now, usually, you would have your buddies, the rest of the wolf pack, helping you out with this. It wouldn't be so dangerous because the kicks would be dispersed among more animals. Because these kicks, they're deadly. And now what happens, we have made our kill. And we cannot eat this entire elk carcass. So either it's coming back to the same kill and not having the risk of trying to take down a new prey item. Or we leave it and the other scavengers, like the bears and the coyotes, are going to come by and finish utilizing that kill. So let's actually take a look at the elk herd. Oh, they're all on the defensive. They see us, they're not gonna put up with this. So it looks like the elk hunting ground. Oh my gosh, look at them all. Defensive posture, they're like, uh-uh, uh-uh, you're not getting us. You're not getting us, that's what they're saying. Whoops, okay, we're getting kicked on. Let's move it. I was just trying to like run, run and rush them and kind of surprise them, but they saw us coming. All right, so yeah, different cow elks are gonna have different health values, it seems. All right, whoops, the coyote's like, I'm out of here, holy moly, this is too much. See, and we'll kind of snack on the coyote's meal. Look at this. Whoa, let's not mess with the bull elk. I bet he's probably very strong. So this is awesome. This is really awesome. Our first hunts. Whoops, and we're getting kicked again. Go, run, run, don't get kicked. Hey, back off. This is gonna be my food. And the coyotes are running for it. There we go, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this food. Finish off this carcass. I don't think there's anything left to eat on it. Oh, that's so awesome. I can't believe we made our very first kill. We got a lot of experience too. So I think we're gonna be exploring and discovering more things with Eclipse for a while. Because we don't really need to like recklessly kill the elks again. So let's just go ahead and take a little look around. See what the world has to offer. Let's see. So let's go look at like the dead tree and everything and then we'll loop back. We have an elk kill. There are more elk to hunt. Man, the birds are really happy. They're just like singing and just having a good time over here. So here's where the forest gets a lot sparser. And actually, health of the forest. Oh, look there, it's a dead tree, all right. 
Woo! Well, we'll go check that out. But the health of the forest often depends on the health of the apex predators. Because these elk really are like deer, like white-tailed deer. They love eating the shrubs. They love eating saplings of young trees. Deer can graze a forest down to almost nothing. They'll even eat the bark off of the trees. And if the saplings all get eaten by deer, you have no forest in another decade or so, or even sooner than that. And so the wolves and the other apex predators keep those populations in check. All right, so there's a, just a female, female elk carcass down here. Here's the dead tree. There's definitely a lot going on. Apparently there's something up this way. So let's take a little peek at what is hiding up on this bridge, this little bluff right here. All right, there you go. Oh, wow. It's water. It's a pool of water to splash in. Eclipse, what do you think about this? This is a nice place just to like grab a quick drink. And, and look around. There's the dead tree kind of like as a little way of keeping an eye on things. Oh my gosh, and there's like a little rock over there. Lots of details. I love the leaves that are just floating everywhere. Another rock over there. All right, so we might kind of look around. We'll go up to Fossil Forest. We'll check out the grassy plains. We'll go down to Dry Creek in the burn and kind of keep looping. And this is, this is gonna take us a little while because if we're gonna need to get enough experience points to be able to find a mate then we're gonna need to have to then we're gonna have to need to go and maybe like kill some more coyotes kill some more hares chase off some grizzlies um and hunt some more elk so this is gonna be really exciting you guys i'm really looking forward to this i'm loving the names that you guys are leaving with the proper like galaxy and star theme that we have for the puppies that Eclipse is one, go one day going to be having with his mate whenever we find her. And here in the free demo, which you can- Oh, there's a coyote! Coyote, I'm sorry, I need your points! I need the points, where'd you go? Alright, oh wow! Look at the vista up here! Alright, eh, eh, eh. Sorry coyote, it's my job, 25 more points, woo! Wow! Yeah, I think we're gonna have fun exploring. But yeah, if you guys want to try out the demo, this demo is free. It's available in the link in the video description below. And you can go as far as to look around, explore, hunt, create your wolf, find his mate or her mate if you want to make a female. And that's as far as the demo goes. And then when the full game comes out, and as of this time, it's not out just yet, it will cost $10. Oh, now it's going to rain. And then you'll be able to have puppies and raise them up to puppet. So this is going to be pretty exciting. We'll do some more exploring with Eclipse next time. And we will start earning up those experience points. So hopefully we can find another wolf and start Eclipse's pack. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.